Rogi. Okay? Rogi. R U G A E. R U G A E. Okay, show me this one. What are these from the outside? Muscle. What kind of muscle? Smooth, Smooth. muscle. How many layers? This is the stomach. Three layers. Yes, three, three layers. 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 Mm. Yes. You have one extra, which is the oblique layer. You have inner sepal, middle oblique, outer long tube. Mm -hmm. So this is the smooth muscle layer in the stomach. Okay? This is the stomach. We have one more mannequin here. Okay. What's the teeth? Intestine. What's the teeth? Small intestine. Small yeah, intestine. the first part of the small intestine. Do what do you call it? Do what Okay? And here is the pancreas. pancreas. Okay. What's that white thing? The pancreatic duct. The pancreatic duct. And if I focus on this, it will be difficult to okay, forget about it. What's this organ? Kidney. kidney. This is the kidney? Are you sure? Yes. Never ever. Is that the kidney? Um, I don't What's know. that organ? Spleen. Spleen. A landmark for the spleen, the tail of the pancreas. Mm -hmm. So the tail of the pancreas ends in the hilum of the spleen. So the pancreas is made of a head, and the concavity of this duodenum, a neck next to it, a body, and the tail. The tail ends inside it the hilum of the spleen. So this organ is the spleen. This is easy mannequin and you may be tested on this one. What's that running on top of it? It's red. So splenic artery. Splenic artery. What is this? It's blue. Splenic vein. Okay. The end of the splenic vein, this portal, portal, portal vein. vein. Do you remember the portal circulation? Mm -hmm. This is coming from the spleen. This is coming from the small intestine. Veins, veins. The end into the portal vein that goes inside the liver. So this is the portal vein. This is the splenic artery runs on the upper border of the pancreas. Okay. Now we go for the liver. We did it before, but one more time. How can we place the liver? Like this. Place the body like this. This should be lateral like this. This is the upper surface. This is the back. This is the inferior surface. It's oblique like this. It looks like that. Where the gold letter is attached to it. Yes. No, it's not this way. This should be the lateral or this side. Yes, like this, like this, like this. I'm sorry about that. Like this. And the ribs are covering such like that. And the gold bladder should be projecting like this way. You can touch the gold bladder from such area. If it is inflamed, you can touch it like this way. I was explaining it this morning. What we call it Marfan's test. What's Marfan's test? You like you put your patient flat on bed and you put the flat of your fingers like this. Ask your patient to take a deep breath. If the gold bladder has stones or inflamed, once this finger touches this area, and you see this area, the patient will cry from pain. This is called Marfan's sign or Marfan's test is positive in a gallbladder disease. Okay? So what are the lobes of the liver? This is the right lobe. This is the left lobe. If I turn the liver from the inferior surface, lower down here, quadrate, quadrangular in shape. Codate. Codate. Quadrate, codate. Nearby the quadrate, we have the gallbladder located there. 
this area I mentioned early porta hepatis what is porta hepatis this is like the hilum of the liver it has three structures can you see these structures one green one red one blue dab d a v the d is the bile duct which could be the cystic duct of the gulbar the red is a hepatic artery the artery for the supply of nutrition to the liver this is the portal vein v portal vein dab d a v duct artery vein all together are named porta hepatis porta hepatis Okay. What's that blue thing? Inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava. Okay. What is that fissure? There is a ligament, a fibrous sheath coming here to divide the liver into two halves. It's called falciform ligament. Write it down. Falciform ligament. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why your eyes swollen.